Hey there, so today I'm going to show you how to do something that I use all the time when I'm rendering, and that is how to render using transparency maps in uh, Maya Arnold. So today I'm working in Maya 2020 with the Arnold plugin, and I already went ahead and created a transparency map um, just in Photoshop. So uh, remember, when you're creating your transparency maps, that the black areas are what is going to be transparent on your render, and the white areas is what is going to be opaque. All right, so just to get started, I already went ahead and imported this table here into a new scene in Maya. And in case you need a table or anything, uh, this is actually available for free to download on my TurboSquid account, which I'm going to link to down below in the description. Aside from that, I just set up a pretty basic rendering scene. So I have this huge dome back here. I use this to render all of my product models. And then um, two area lights here. Okay, so to get started, I already went ahead and created this plane and just dropped it on my table using an in cloth in the FX tab. And of course this cloth is what I'm going to be applying the trans map to. Okay, so to get started, uh, just click on the mesh that you're gonna apply your map to, um, either in the scene or in the outliner over here, and then go ahead and add a new AI standard surface shader to it. All right, so when I did that, it automatically opened my attribute editor, but if that did not happen for you, you can just hit Control A, that's the hotkey on Windows. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is navigate over to the newly created standard surface shader. And we're just going to scroll right on down to the geometry tab here. And mine was already open. So we're going to open it here. And then next to this opacity line here, we're going to click on this checkerboard. So this is going to bring up a window full of a bunch of options. You're just going to go ahead and click on the file option. Okay, and sometimes Maya likes to be tricky. It doesn't always open the file window for you. So if that happens, um, you just need to navigate over to your mesh, either in the scene or in the outliner. Um, as you can see, the mesh already went invisible, which is a good sign. It means, you know, we clicked on the opacity tab. <laughs> so uh, if you need to navigate over to the file, just click on your mesh and then go back over to opacity where we were before and then follow that arrow there. Okay, so now that we're at the file tab in the attribute editor, we're going to go ahead and click on this folder next to image name. So that's going to go ahead and open up a window where we can then go navigate to our trans maps. So mine is right here. It is a TIFF, and it's just a little doily pattern I created in Photoshop. And you can see it right here in the preview window. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click Open, which applies it to the mesh. All right, so a very important step that uh, took me a while to figure out, actually, <laughs> um, is to click on your mesh, uh, and then go ahead in the Attribute Editor, navigate over to the shape of your object. Then you want to just head over to this Arnold tab right here, click the drop down, and then just make sure that opaque is unchecked. So it doesn't always do it, but um, occasionally, you know, Maya likes to be tricky. Uh, if the opaque is checked, the transparency won't render out at all. So just be on the safe side, go ahead and uncheck it either way. So with that being said, that is pretty much everything you have to do, and we can go ahead and get our render going. Um, if you want to, you can change up the different materials Maybe you turn the weight up to one. You can go ahead and switch this to more of like a cream color. A lot of the time with these doilies, I do that a lot with like a lace pattern. I go ahead and uh, add um, like a fabric texture onto bump mapping. So, you know, you have plenty of options. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm going to turn spec off just because it's cloth. Um, so anyways, that's pretty much all you have to do. So let's go ahead and pull open the render window and see what it looks like. So I actually always render by clicking on the render window first and then clicking render and then going to the camera that I want specifically. I find that if you just click render straight from the, like, the home screen, uh, it usually renders the wrong camera. Uh, I don't know, just accidentally. So I like to do that to be safe. So my computer is pretty good, but not the best. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the end of this render. Okay, and here are our final results. So I'm going to go ahead and save this image. Uh, we're going to call this table trans map render and i always like to save as pngs or tiffs not a huge fan of jpegs okay so one little last tip that i can offer you uh, as i mentioned before when you're creating your trans map um, black is what is going to be transparent and white is going to be what is opaque on your render so keep that in mind when you're creating your map however if you do the inverse of that it's not a huge deal um, it's fixable in Maya. It's a very quick fix. So just go ahead, click on your mesh again, go to your standard surface shader that we created earlier, go down to the geometry tab, which is already open, click the arrow next to opacity, and it takes us back to our file. 
in the file tab in the attribute editor just go ahead and scroll down to this tab effects click on that then just hit invert and that'll flip the black and white of your map so we can go ahead and take a look at the effect here using the IPR render so mine was already fine so it looks super weird right now but you see what the effect is it's super handy really saves on time okay so that is going to be it so thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped